Hi, this is Barry with Barry's Workshop. In this video, I'll show you part two of my grocery bag micarta project where I actually make the knife handles and install them on the blades. In a previous video, I showed you how I used grocery bags and epoxy to make a very hard and durable micarta. And these are knives that I'm gonna replace the handles. This one had a plastic handle that cracked. And this one I had replaced once before with cherry, but it didn't fare too well being put in the sink. Uh, it would swell and contract and it's about to fall off. Tape on the sharp edge will hopefully help me from getting hurt. And I'm using the metal cutting bandsaw to remove the old plastic handle. And a punch removes the other half of the rivet. Using a wire brush here to clean up all the surface rust. And I've got some 150 grit sandpaper here. I'm trying to create a crosshatch pattern just to have some abrasions on the metal. Hopefully that will help the epoxy bind to the metal a little bit better. Here I cut the micarta into strips on the table saw to use for the handle blanks. And then I use the sander here to get rid of the wax paper that I used to hold it all together and to make it flat. Here I'm using the knife to draw out the basic shape and determine how to cut the blanks to length. I didn't catch this on video, but I used the drill press to drill out the micarta blanks to hold the rivets, the brass rivets that I'll use. And now I get to glue it all together. This is the same epoxy that I used to make the micarta. And hopefully there's plenty there. And this is some 1 8 inch um, brass rod and just hammering it in. A little messy, but it worked. Let it dry overnight, and then I came back and cut it and sanded it into shape. Most of the shaping was done on the oscillating spindle sander. And I did a little fine tuning with the file. And here are the finished knives with some mineral oil applied to the handles. I'm pretty happy with them. You can kind of see the blue mark from the grocery bags. And I think if I did it again, I would probably not include that. And there's a little bit of a grain pattern that you can kind of see. It gives it a little bit of a wood grain look because of the way I carved it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. A few things I might do ne different next time, but uh, they're still a whole lot better than they were. Well, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.